Welcome everyone. Uh, thank you all so much for coming. Um, today, as you know, is Remembrance Day. So I wanted to start by, by honoring all of the people who gave their lives or their mental health and, and years of their lives um, so that we could all gather here in this way, um, in this space that I am sure, I love having you guys in here, I love bringing you guys in here, um, because I am sure that when the rich white people that built this house built this room, they didn't think that this was something that was gonna happen here. Um, so I, I also wanted to acknowledge the, the student government, the SLS, for, for hosting their meeting here in this room with us today. That means a lot to me, um, that all of you are interested in learning about that. Um, I want to acknowledge my auntie, Constance, Elder Constance, who works with um, the law students here at the law school um, and is a, a mentor and a teacher for me. And I'm really grateful that she gave her time to be with us. And um, last but the opposite of least, I wanted to thank Grandmother Pauline for coming. Um, she is greatly recognized for her dedication and commitment to Toronto's Native community. She's from uh, Saddle Lake Reserve in Alberta. Um, she's been a teacher though in Toronto for many decades, um, since the late 60s. She's a member of the Three Fires Society and the Buffalo Dance Society, as well as the founder of the First Nations School, which some of you might know is now located um, at Donlan Station. And- That's the Wandering Spirit. The Wandering Spirit yeah, School. Yeah, yeah. Is it different? Wandering Spirit, yeah. Wonders, There's wonders, not First Nations It's not anymore. the First Nations school. Oh, no. Oh, oh that's way gone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and the Red Willow, which are just <coughs> two examples of the hard work, ethic, and perseverance she has for bettering the Toronto community. <coughs> Today, Grandma Pauline serves as a mentor to many Aboriginal youth and young families. She's an experienced um, and trusted grandmother. She also works in all levels of government, conducting opening prayers. She teaches the Bimikaway training, which some of you might be familiar with. Um, and she makes sure that the Aboriginal community is positively recognized, and she offers a voice for her people. Um, and she's here to share some of her teachings and wisdom with us today. And I'm so grateful to you for accepting our invitation to be here. Miigwech, merci. I want to say, I want to say uh, miigwech to her, to our auntie here. <coughs> We normally, I normally do, uh, do this, you know, if I don't know the person's name, you know, the male or female, I'll say uncle or auntie, okay, that's what I, but I know her, and, and I, I know most of the people in here, so, not you, that's right, yeah, I don't know the, uh, but anyway, I just want to say miigwech to the, uh, do, to that, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> that introduction. And I had accepted tobacco to come here and be with you from 12.30 to uh, 2 o'clock. So that's my responsibility. As a traditional teacher, I, uh, I, uh, you know, we, uh, we, this is what our spiritual commitment is from when we are asked to come and speak or come and sit down, you know, or do work, you know, like healing or talking to a person, to a spiritual being. And so that's my role in life, and uh, to come here as a teacher and give everything what I have. You know, I have spent 76, uh, I guess falls now, you know, uh, in here. Uh, I think the last time I was here, I was uh, in my early, early 70s, you know, because I've, and I've uh, been here since the 60s. And, uh, I came as a visit on a visit from Alberta, and uh, and I'm still here. And it's a long visit. I'm going to be here. I'm, I, you know, I probably will. You know, will be here. To, you know, when the when the Creator calls me home. But I just want to say, my real name is Anemki Kwe, which means Thunder Woman. I was born on a really, really, really uh, uh, the, a big thunderstorm in Alberta. And you know, the thunderstorms in Alberta and the prairies are just, is anybody here from the prairies? Yeah, well, you know how they are, eh? Oh, you know, sorry. they're cool, you know, they're just powerful, eh? But uh, so, hence my name, Thunder Woman. And, uh, and then my second name 
or actually my first name, you know, my, uh, you know uh, that my mother gave me was Rose, you know, because she had the most beautiful, she grew the most beautiful rose bushes in the country. And so that's where I got my name Rose. But uh, I also am of the red-tailed hawk, you want to say, I need to know them, and uh, that's uh, my clan. My clan is, a, you know, is to be a spiritual teacher, and that's all I've ever done in my life, you know. And so uh, I'm degreed in both the dominant culture and I'm degreed in our way of life. And so uh, I, uh, but I uh, am, you know, uh, a spiritual teacher, and that's all I'll ever do in life, you know, uh, to uh, to be one of the creator's helpers. And I want to be a good helper, and I have been a good helper, and it's hard to be a good helper, you know? It's hard to be good, <laughs> especially when you're at my age, you know? We, we love to tell jokes, we love to, t you know? <laughs> get, and anyway, I, uh, I uh, really am pleased to be here to accept this tobacco. And I just want to say to you, and I want to give you some tobacco for this session. This has been blessed, okay? And it's organic tobacco, okay? And, uh, and I just want to take, just take a little bit of it, okay? And what we, were, we are going to do is, uh, we are going to uh, say the four directions in my language. And that's how you communicate with the spirit. The spirit is you, you and I, okay? We're all human beings in here. And then what I'll do is, uh, with this tobacco, I will, uh, I will offer it to the, uh, to the special grandfathers, grandmothers, in the four directions, and tell you, I'm gonna speak in my language, but I will tell you what they say, what I say, okay? What they're here for. And then, uh, Migase is here listening. She's here listening. And she's here listening to uh, the uh, red tail hawk, you know, to, uh, and they're all listening in here. And what they're gonna do is take that, take all of those thoughts from your, from, you know, from the hand, the, your left hand, and uh, with that tobacco. That's your communication with that, of what you want in here. Why are you here? What's the reason why you're here, okay? You tell that to the, you don't tell, tell that to me. <clears throat> you tell that to the, uh, to the tobacco. And that's how, what this is. This is a spiritual connection. Everything has a spirit in life. That's why we use everything. So, you know, if, when you go to, when you are invited or you go to a session like this and you see all of the, you know, uh, this is a, a small, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, bundle, part of my bundle. and. Uh, if you say, oh, well, you know, that, what, it, that's, not, that's not what I came in here for. Of course, that's what you're here for, really. Basically, that's what you should be here for because this is our connection with all spirits. This is a connection with what we are here for and whom you are going to uh, be connecting with, okay? So I, I know a lot of, uh, I know a lot of the, uh, <coughs> your, uh, uh, co-partners in the in the legal profession have been in our sessions and they have listened and they have uh, you know Kirsten is one of them and uh, Amanda you know and others okay I can't really see you so I can't I but that's the uh, that's your connection with that and it's really important for us to all be together in here. That's why we sit in a circle. I wish everybody would sit in a circle, you know, but it's okay. You know, I guess that's the way this building is, like our Amanda said here. And, uh, but uh, the circle is our connection. And what we do as a, as a teacher, what I will do as a teacher is explain everything, every little part of it, okay? Maybe not every little part of it, but every, you know, what, what I'm gonna be talking about. So, first of all, Sema is the most important part. That's my spiritual connection. If she hadn't given it to me, then I could tell you about everything, everything else but what I'm supposed to be talking about, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I have done that, okay? <laughs> and uh, so, it's really important to know when you are approaching or you are going to be asking one of our uh, 
you know, our teachers or, a, you know, our indigenous person, you have a pouch of tobacco, okay? And the pouch of tobacco, and, and I just want to sh tell you this, uh, uh, a pouch of tobacco should be, shouldn't be this small, okay? Okay, this is a teaching for everybody, okay? It shouldn't be this small. You know why? Because uh, the spirits will say, geez, they're stingy, you know? I came here, I, I want to give them everything, okay? And so what you should be doing is, you know, you should be having a bundle this big, okay? And it doesn't have to be red. I don't know where the red comes, came from, you know? It's that somebody started that and everybody, you know, but I guess maybe it's because we, you know, we're considered the red, the red sacred color, but this is how big the, the tobacco should be. And what you do with that tobacco is you take it in here and put it here and you, you know, put it, uh, you know, uh, four times, you circle it four times. So that's the, that's the, uh, the, you know, uh, uh, yeah. That's the teaching for that, okay? But you have to be careful of what you're saying in there. And that's what you are te being taught by the dominant culture with the legal profession, okay? You have to be careful. You have to focus. You have to listen, okay? And uh, see, you know, and think with your beautiful heart, okay? So that's what we do in our, in our, you know, in our, uh, I accept this, you know, beautifully. And, uh, and uh, I will, uh, you know, give it, give it to back to the earth. I don't take it home and just put it on my uh, on my table or anything. You have to. You, she has set the words for me, and I had accepted it. So what I, my responsibility is to give it back to the earth where it belongs. Okay, where it came from. So that's the teaching about the, the tobacco. Okay, when a person, when you are meeting, and you are going to be meeting our people. Okay, you're going to know what. To do okay it's really 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 important otherwise you know what they're gonna do they're just, they're just gonna say hmm. they don't know what under their breath in their in their language they'll say huh you know they're, they, they don't know what they're doing <laughs> you know so uh, and uh, so that's what that's you know it's a it's a it's a, a teaching for each and every one of you okay and uh, so I have accepted this tobacco to come in here and uh, <clears throat> I was told to uh, to talk about uh, about the the seven grandfathers or one of the seven grandfathers teachings. Okay, and I will do that. Plus, there's some pluses to that. And uh, so, uh, what I'm going to do is with that tobacco you have. Okay, you're going to speak to the spirit of the tobacco, and you're going to hold it in your left hand, the hand that's closest to your heart. And because we are called the heart people, the midday people, okay? Midday means heart, okay? And, uh, and there are many, uh, I belong to three fires, uh, you know, at midday, at midday society, so, but that means I'm a, in, in the teaching lodge. I belong to one of the lodges of the midday, okay? Everybody's a midday here, okay? Everybody, so uh, you're a people of the heart of the, of Turtle Island, okay, of where we were placed from the, the four sacred colors like this in, like this one, you know. So all the four sacred colors are in here. And uh, this is what we're going to be talking about, the teachings of the, of the red sacred color. So <clears throat> hold that in your hand. And because uh, we have brought the water in here, the water vessel in here, it's a pretty fancy bottle, isn't it? <laughs> that was just given to me just recently, but and I said, "Hey, I'll I'll use it today." And uh, so I've asked, given tobacco to Grandma here to speak for us, and that's a, also a very very important part of uh, of our of our uh, you know teaching, because we're talking about you. You are the water. We are the water. We are streams of the water. We are streams of knowledge. We are streams. You know of uh, of the you know of the uh, streams of education. Okay, you're being educated by this water, and because the water is you, 
the water flows through us. So that's why I tell people, plant your feet firmly on the ground. Don't cross your river, okay? Because so the streams won't flow, you know, uh, you know, right down, okay? So that, so I've given her tobacco and what she's going to do is she's going to hold that water and speak to the spirit of the water, speak and, uh, and ask, you know, ask uh, those two grandmothers. There are two grandmothers uh, who hold the spirit of the water, okay? So she will talk to them and then that grandmother who is uh, part of the earth, she will, she holds four, she holds, uh, she's the chief of four grandmothers. And she's gonna tell the grandmothers, listen to the people. These people are, uh, you know, asking you with that tobacco to, to help them out, you know. Uh, you know, uh, put the, the streams of, of, the, of, the, of that water and bless it and purify it. Like they have purified their body, their spirit, their beautiful mind. So everything is, everything in all the four directions will be uh, accounted for, okay? And you are the most important being. You are a spiritual human being. And that's why we bring the water all the time. I'm part of, uh, of, uh, of the Medawanakwe, which means, uh, which means I am of the water clan. And uh, so I hold uh, a water clan. I am a grandmother and I have a, a daughter who holds, you know, and then I have a, grand, a, a granddaughter who is part of the water clan. So we have one of the, the, the lines of the water line in our society in the, you know, in the midday. So it's our responsibility, also your responsibility to talk about the water all the time. Hold that water when you are, uh, I think maybe you could pass these around too, okay? The water, okay, while we, uh, while we are uh, uh, communicating, communicating with the spirit, okay? And this is our way of life. It's a way of life that's uh, been here. We were, you were placed here on Turtle Island in the, you know, with the red sacred color and other settlers were placed in the other, the other side of the world. And, uh, but this is where you are now. So you have a, res a special co commitment to Mother Earth. You are part of Mother Earth wherever you are on, you know, on, on the, not only Turtle Island, but all of the universe in the, you know, not the universe, but Mother Earth, okay? So it's your responsibility. And you're here to hear something, a teaching that will help you un have an understanding with the, s sacred, the, the, the sacred color red. So I say, bonjour de wey maganaduk. That means, hello, my relatives. And I, uh, Nimki kwe dishni kaz gabana se nito dem, haon de wa ki pite wean mede wean, haon ni stamina, mede wan e kwe ni sta, haon me kwe ni sta, ay ho te niskapu ni ho te hi 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 what I have said is that I am Thunder Woman of, of the Red Tail Hawk Clan. I am a Cree from the Cree Nation, and I am, uh, you know, I am uh, of the Water Clan, and uh, that I am here as a, as a, you know, uh, you know, given this tobacco to come and to come and uh, listen to you, and I mean, you listen to me. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to now say is the next, the next thing is I'm. I'm going to call in the four directions, okay? Aham, ikuti hu maki akapin. Aham, ikuti anba, anem ki kwe hi tipat se kwa hu ma kistamina nipioma. You can hold that water, okay? Hold that water. Yeah. Aya, ikwa hu nipioma mini, mi kwe ikwa wa aham, aham nuto go. Ikwa hu kistamina ha pito teo ta pi wi sihnan ki an mo te haya, igi haya, kakio, kakio ikuti ka pi wi kapi haya. Ekutihan <laughs> 
ahana ko taho ma piwitsi hetsego ka kaisina wa kakio ha piwitsi hinan kita makita unan isanan kita makita unan ko yaskito ya ahana ko tahan ba e ko tahan ba ahana ko tahan ba kista ka pito tin ham na askum mista he e ko kista mino mo ti piwitsi hinan e ko ho masema e ko ho ma binipi hi mita ha kanawapam na kanawapam na ahana ko tahan ikan biyan ikan biyan na noke ko tahan ha kapin mas kule bish ka kisi kaso in kila na askum Eko masema, mahipi himita. Eko kista mino muti, aham. Eko tehan ma, aham. Eko tehan ma kista kaya in. Eko tehan ma ya, aham. Kiwe din, kiwe din ano kisi kaso in. Aham makwa he ko teha aham. Mio pa maris sa winin tawin tamaho ta. Eko huma, sema, nipi, ihaya, himita. Aham wisin na. Kanawapam na ni sana. Kanawapam na ni. Eko huma ino ma, micho ni himita. Wisin na, kanawapam na. Aham, bikwech ay 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 ay. Aham, which is nan kinaskum. Aham, I what I said in my language is I have called in the spirit of the eastern direction, and that spirit of eastern direction brings us the you know our growth. That's where we come in through the through that eastern doorway. We ask. We ask those uh, grandmothers to come and be with us in here to give us that, you know, that good life, that, you know, that good life, you know, that sustenance that we need, and also this water, the water uh, that we, we, we give them. We tell them to come and be with us in here in a good way, and to learn everything in a good way, to be kind to each other because that's what the Eastern Doorway, uh, you know, brings. Uh, you know, peace and kindness, and uh, so we can uh, all live together learn together and as we look into the southern doorway what we who do we see in there is the uh, is uh zawin zawin and look she sits there and she's the one she's the life sustainer not the life sustainer but the food sustainer and she's the one she comes in in a in the east uh, uh, in the springtime was so pregnant with life so beautiful and she gives us that life the seeds of growth and we see we seed them and, and we plant them and and then we you know we, you know, we uh, uh, harvest them, and then we we eat them. You know, celebrate with them in the fall time, and we uh, and then we uh, put everything away and make sure our our children, our lives, our families are you know are taken care of. So we ask her to come in here, and who does she sit there with? Is uh, Ginu. Ginu sits there with her, all uh, you know, with all the sustenance of life and that guardianship of life. And what he does is that, hey, yeah, you know, I am the one who will give that message to the creator and just says what she is doing here today. She is taking everything from all your minds, whatever it is that you are thinking of, it's, it goes up into the spirit world. So as we look into the Western Dory, who do we see in there, you know, waiting patiently for us? Sometimes we forget her is that, is that buffalo spirit. And the buffalo spirit is the one who, you know, gives us, uh, you know, our minds and we gives, gives us that strength, you know, that strength, you know, and, uh, and as the water flows through, through her, she looks towards the eastern doorway and welcomes that, you know, the birth of, of uh, you know, of people, of our, of our children. So we say to her, thank you so much right now. Hey, 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 with this tobacco and also this water. So that's what we are saying to her. And to give us, to give us, you know, to give us help whenever we need life, whenever you need uh, a good life, whenever you are in, you know, uh, in, uh, you know, uh, in a quandary about, you know, what to do, ask her, offer tobacco to her, and that's what we ask her for all the time. And she, she is there. She said that she was, she would give us all that sustenance and all that life, uh, good life for us when. Uh, when you know on creation so as we look into the northern doorway who do we see in there is the is the um, the great white bear and the great white bear is uh you know the little baboon right now is uh, we see her we see her and him you know just fluttering around in here saying ha ha i'm here i'm here get get it ready get ready you know learn how to take care of yourself learn how to take care put food away and be happy and you know, learn all about your teachings. Gather around in circles and all that. Give warmth to yourself and all that. And that's what she's saying right now. So we see her. We give thanks. We give her that tobacco in here, and also the uh, 
uh, the water. We give that food to her, and because she, we welcome her here, because it's in the, the, uh, the tenth moon in creation, and uh, no, it's eleven moons in creation. So she is here. She's here. Baboon is here, and she will get, you know, more and more and more. She will bring her, her blanket over here, right over grand, you know, our, our mother, the earth, because our mother, the earth, uh, you know, will need that blanket, you know, that sustenance, because our grandfather, and we're going to talk about him, uh, our grandfather, who is the first, the first, first one that ever has ever been here in, uh, in the universe, you know, the sun is the first, you know, element, you know, being that ever was here. So, you know, we're going to be uh, giving her thanks. So we give thanks to that healer, that healer, uh, you know, Makwa. So we say miigwech to her. So we look up to Midei Gises, and it's the grandfather's son. What grandfather's son is doing is, uh, is uh, you know, he is the spirit. We see the grandfather's son still. But the spirit of the grandfather is, uh, is uh, gone visiting the universe right now. That's why the, uh, you know, the, uh, their, you know, the, the darkness comes in over. And the blanket will be over Mother Earth, and that's what he gives her because he loves, he loves her so much because she has done so much for us. And, she, uh, and he covers the children. That means you and I with that, uh, you know, with that, with that beautiful blanket. So we say me question to that and we give thanks to, you know, with the tobacco and the water and the food. So in here, in the winter time, when it was winter in uh, solstice, remember this, uh, uh, when you, uh, in uh, December 21st, that's next month, you know, uh, you're going to have, we're going to have one of the greatest celebrations in our life. We're going to welcome and we're going to dance and we're going to sing, you know, love song to our grandfather saying, Grandpa, what is it? What is it? My, what, it what is my, uh, my uh, relatives? Who are my relatives? What are they saying to us? What messages have we brought over? Because what he has done is he has gone visiting right around the universe. Isn't that great? You know, so, uh, but Grandpa is saying, our mother, the earth, and her children are saying, we're cold, Grandpa. Come over, come back, come back. And so what do you think he does? He listens to us, and he comes back, and it's starting on December the 21st. It's a great day. You know, we, we as Anishinaabe people, we don't celebrate Christmas. It's a, it's a settler's holiday, OK? So uh, you know, but we do celebrate the solstice. We greet each other, we have a feast, and we have fun, and we welcome grandfather's son. So teach that to your children, okay? That's part of your teaching. That's part of the relationship. Any time you are, you are meeting a person, you know, give them a welcome. Say, greet them, and shake hands with them. You know, when I grew up, when I was growing up, we never hugged each other, only your mom and dad. You know, that's what they used to say. Only your mom and dad, because that's the one, because you want their, their energy, okay? And, uh, but nowadays, everybody hugs each other, you know? And when, they, when, when uh, I was, a, it was a teenage, I was a teenager when that first, when, you know, uh, the hugging started, and I said, oh, why are people hugging each other? You know, aren't they, you know? And because the way we were brought up, traditionally, is that we don't hug, we just shake hands, shake hands with everybody. And uh, so that, remember that. If that person you're looking, you're, you're, you're uh, uh, you know, uh, you're conversing with or you're going to have a meeting with, if they don't uh, uh, hug you or even shake your hand, don't feel, uh, don't feel, uh, you know, don't feel, don't feel bad. Just accept it, you know, and, uh, and they will, but they will, you know, but if you, you know, if you tell them, you know, come here and, you know, get a drink of water for them. Get a drink of water for them. And, you know, that's what we do. Because uh, in, our, in our way of life, make them feel comfortable. Make them feel, you know, if they don't feel comfortable, they will. They will. Eventually they will. Make them give, give them something, some food, you know. And, uh, you know, because 
That's how we were brought up. We were brought up, if a person came through the door, the first thing they did was we used to have a pail of water before we had the running water, a pail of water and a dipper. And we would give them that, uh, that dipper. We would say, nah. And that, uh, and that person would, uh, would, uh, would take that water. And that's a welcome. And you know what? And that's a welcome, a, a very special welcome, because what you are doing is that spirit to spirit, you are saying, here's sustenance, here's, you know, to feel to, uh, for your stream of water, you know, to water yourself, okay? And so that's, you know, it's really, really important. So I used to, you know, that's the way I was brought up. And then uh, we never, as children, we never ran through to the door to answer the phone, to answer the phone, to answer the door. It was our father, it was our father, our dad who did that, our uncle, you know. So, and they say, they would knock at the door and they say, are we Nakia? Who is it, you know, who is it? Who are you? And, uh, and they would answer and they said, oh, okay. My dad would unlatch the door and, and, and oh, hi, hi, you know, they say, come on in and they shake hands and then give them a drink of water. So that's the same thing we do. The same thing we do. It's really, that's really, the, you know, the encounter is so, so, so important, you know, really important. And uh, so what you do is you give them the best, you know, your best food or uh, something that, you know, uh, my, my mother always had bags. She was a seamstress and she always, uh, you know, had a bag of goodies, maybe a, a jar of something, her, you know, her, her jam or something, and give it to that person. And that's the same thing, you know, when you meet that person, give them something, give them something, a little something, you know. You know, even though if you go far away up north, uh, you know, that's really important. So that's, that's the, uh, that, that encounter, especially the first encounter is really, really important. Really, really important, you know? It's so important. I remember when I first met, uh, you know, you know the, uh, in our, uh, uh, we were, I was brought up, we were brought up with uh, uh, Ukrainian, and rec Ukrainian farmers, and that's why my dad was able to, you know, you know able to uh, farm cooperatively. And so that's what he did. And I remember, oh, that's my first non-indigenous, uh, you know, relationship with, uh, with, you know, with them. But we treated each other, they treated each other so well. You know, they, the cooking, the cooking and the trashing machine, you know, trashing, not trashing, you know, trashing. trashing. Yeah, and, uh, and all of that, because my father was a farmer. So he did that with them. And, and so I saw the protocols, okay? I saw the process of where everything was at. As a, even as a little child, I was very, very curious. And we were taught, and we were taught very well what to do, what to say. And, uh, and uh, so uh, that's the same thing with our people. They'll watch you. You think they don't, they're not watching you, you know? <laughs> they are sizing you up, <laughs> you know, telling you, is it, who, you know, who are you? What is she made out of? You never know the, what that person's uh, capability of, you know, you know, getting getting to know Amanda without her telling her story, mm -hmm. they know, they know, they know. That's what we were brought up with, a, with our great minds, you know, and our beautiful hearts, and uh, and our way of life. Those stories that you say are so, tr you know, you hear about us, they're so true. You know, you never heard about poverty. You never heard about, you know. Uh, you know, all of these uh, things that you, no, there was no such thing as that. I don't even use poverty in my, in my, in my uh, talk. There is no such thing as poverty. We are rich, each and every one of us in this, in this sacred colors, each and every one of us is, uh, is very rich. And that's where I'm, you know, comes, you know, the story comes in of, uh, of the creation story, okay? Everything in life starts with the creation story. Everything, everything. You know, like uh, 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 what do you call it in in our school? Where does everything begin? 
you know, where the Savior should begin, you know. But we begin our stories by creation stories. And I ain't going to tell you the creation story, okay? But I'll give you a little tidbits of it. But that's important. Know the creation story. Know your creation story. Mm -hmm. Know the creation story and look and read. You can read everything. Now it, you can get everything nowadays, teachings, whatever, except some things. But in my days, I had to travel thousands of miles, spend thousands of dollars to getting, getting the knowledge that I am, that I am, you know, that I am, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah, helping out with, okay? But till this person was told by spirit, by the way, we're done. Uh, he's uh, our grand chief of the Three Fire Society, and uh, it, his name is Eddie Edward Benton Benai. So you know this book? Does everybody know this book? Mm -hmm. Who who knows this book? Can I can I see your hands? Mashoma's book. Well, as a grandmother, I would say, you know, this is a must book. Okay, a must. It's called the Mashoma's book Ed, Ed, by Edward Benton Benai, and what it does is the spirit told him. Uh, you know, in, in our in our society, everything is done in our in our language, in, you know, uh, in in uh, in uh, in our lodges, in our lodge teaching lodges, spiritual lodges, and uh, till he was told in the eighties, he was told the second generation, my children, you know, they didn't know, they didn't know the uh, they didn't know their language. <coughs> Because in the seventh fire, it is the seventh fire, is a, is a, a, a there's a, a beautiful book that has been written. Oh, oh no, it's right here, and I'm going to pass it around. It's been written by a, by a friend of mine, Linda Hart, and she wrote the book about seven fires. Now a fire is a certain era, okay? It's it's about maybe about eighty or hundred, you know, uh, uh, fifty, sixty years from, you know with each other, okay? It's an era. And we, at the seventh fire, listen to this now, because you're going to listen to it, because there's stories around here that we're in the eighth fire. That's not so. It's not so, okay? We are still in the seventh fire, and the seventh fire only started in the 70s, when I was born, you know, uh, after when I was born, about 20 years after I was born. And these are the people who picked up their bundles, you know, residential school and all that stuff, you know. But we picked our bundles because our bundles were, you know, you know, uh, some of us had uh, forgotten. We were we were told in the residential school to speak our language, to you know, to practice our way of life. So a lot of us listened. I didn't. That's why I was kicked out. You know, uh, the uh, the uh, so. We are called the seven fire people. I am called the seven fire. You, you are called the seven fire people. So because you started this way of life, you started teaching this, and yay, we're, we're alive. We're here. We've been here since day one, you know? And uh, we've been here all this time. So, you know, so we picked up our bundles and started speaking our language and started, you know, our, knowing our way of life. So that, this book, here, I should, I should, uh, pass it out. It's a, it's a book that you must have, you should have, and there's also another book called uh, The Grandfather's, Grandmother's, Grandma Says by uh, Tom Porter, Haudenosaunee. It's a, it's a great, great book, okay? It's a, it should be a must in your, uh, in your library, and you can get them at goodminds.com, okay, or else at a native center, I think, here on Spadina. But the seventh fire, it's a time of people picking up their bundles. We had been asleep, they said, for, for hundreds of years, you know, with, uh, you know with, with colonization and all that, you know, a lot of us. But a lot of us weren't. You know, I still speak my language. My, you know, we still have our, 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 uh, our uh, ceremonies. So some of us were asleep. Some of us were still, you know, listening. And we had to, we had to hide. And uh, and so, what happened? What happened? In, in, in a, is that the spirit said, "Hey, we'll help you. We'll help you out." So, that first fire, 
the seventh fire, I should say, the seventh fire was lit in, uh, you know, and there's series that came, that came. And uh, so uh, the seventh fire started in the 70s and it will go on for maybe a thousand years. Who knows? That's when the light, will, the eighth fire will be lit. So don't, 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 you know, don't listen to those people who say the eighth fire is here. It's all, you know, it, it, it's not, it's untrue. It's untrue, okay? It's not real. So the spirit has a scent, you know, of the spirit. Otherwise, you know, we would be in a different era. So anyway, uh, we are the seven fires. So it's really important for me, important for the teachers to bring these teachings forward to you. So uh, the, the tobacco, the tobacco that I was given was, is, uh, is, is about uh, the, uh, what do you call it, 116. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna do a fast talk, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to, hey, it's, oh, the tobacco. Yeah, well, okay, the tobacco. Thank you, Grandma. What you're going to do with the tobacco is you are going to either put it here, okay? This is the spirit plate. If we want to keep it, you can put it and say to baboon yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Grandfather. Thank you, little baboon, for coming to visit us here and that you are going to be staying with us. She's getting... She's getting uh, really uh, uh, dancing more, more, eh? Anyway, so now it's 115, okay? Thank you for, uh, thank you for listening for this part of the session, okay? But that's a very, very important part of, the, of our way of life, okay? So with the, with the, uh, the creation story, you started the creation story, you know, from the beginning to the beginning, there was no light and all that, and there was a voice, and, and then there was uh, water, and then, and then, you know, they carried the water, okay? And uh, maybe you could carry the water now, okay? Put, bring, it, bring a little bit to the people, mm -hmm. okay? People and uh, so that water was us, and that's how human beings began, that's how uh, uh, the earth was born you know, by that drop, okay? And because, and because they wanted to have life, and that's how life began. So that's a very short version, teeny weeny bit of uh, the creation story. But everybody, like a, everybody has a creation story, okay? Each and every one of you have a creation story from your life, okay? So don't think we are, we're the only ones that have that. Everything that I'm telling you, you have it too, because this force, the four sacred colors here have the same source have same source of teaching, but in a different way, okay? And, uh, and uh, it, we all come from that same source of uh, the creator, okay? So, the, you know, we ha you all have spirit, you're a spirit, you're a, human, you're a human being with a great mind, beautiful body, and a beautiful spirit. So th those are the three things that, that help us in here, because, of course, your emotions too. And that's why we believe in a circle that if everybody is equal. No one's above, no one's below. So I don't know more than you, and you don't know more than me. So, you know, we're all in here together, learning from each other's spirit, okay? So now the, uh, the, the teaching that I want to concentrate on is the seven grandfathers. Now, in the spirit world, there's the spirit world, okay? Uh, and then uh, the, the spirit world, there's the creator, and the creator has seven special spiritual consultants, okay? They may consult with children, they may consult with health or whatever, okay? And, uh, and those are the ones, those are the ones she is carrying all that message from us to them, okay? to one of those spirits, okay? And uh, so uh, that's why it's important. It's important for us. And they, what they do is they bring all that knowledge and to say, you know, purify us and help us out. That's why we, we ask them. We ask, if you need, if you need to uh, take about 10 minutes, go ahead, ask me, okay, if you want to. When? Uh, anybody, anytime before I start the teaching, maybe. Do we need 10 minutes? Uh, to go to the washroom or... Oh, or, oh yeah. does anyone need to leave, uh, to go to the washroom now before we start the teaching? Because we shouldn't leave after you start, right? I'm sorry? Because you don't want anyone to leave after we start? No, no, it's up to them. Oh, it's okay. their choice. No, no, I think, okay. 
I think we're good. Oh, you're thinking. Yeah. Okay, then. Good. Okay, so, um, so in us, in uh, so we have those seven spirits, and when you decide to come here on on, on Earth at the Earth level in here, you uh, you speak to them. You have your medicine bundle, and your medicine bundle is uh, spiritual tools, and spiritual teachings, and their spiritual name. Everybody has a spiritual name from the spirit world. Not let clans yet, okay? You only get a clan when you're born here on Mother Earth. So what happens in there is that uh, they are, they come in, we come in here with, a, with our bundle, with our bundle, okay? And then, and then our, we choose our vehicles, our mother and our father, and then what happens is that they get together. They, you know, they, they have that, you know, they get married, whatever, and they, they build a circle. So, <coughs> excuse me, so what happens is that they, uh, you know, they say, well, you know what? Since we know each other and we, we've been married this time, let's have, a, you know, it's really important for us to carry on life. So here you are, you're just waiting for that word in the spirit world. And you, once they say that, boom, you're, you, you say, you, the, 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 uh, the mother and father do the greatest ceremonial act and that seed, uh, this is really important to that seed from the father, from the, you know, from the, uh, the male is embedded into the, uh, into the uh, mother's vessel. That's part of the water vessel, the water pillow, we call it. That's part of the, uh, you know, your, your survival as a human being in the water vessel, in your mother's, in your mother's vessel. So you're there for nine moons and you are being taught by a special grandmother and, uh, and uh, from the spirit world while you're there for nine moons. And that, that nine moon period is, nine moons period is a time of learning about yourself, teaching, it's, a, it's your education time, educational time. So, it, and, uh, and when you're ready, your body's growing and all that, your spirit is there, and you have the, you know, the, the mind, body, and the spirit is in there. So everything, everything is, when it's everything, you're, when you're ready to, uh, to, to be able to breathe on your own, then you have, you know, there's a birthing ceremony. And that's when the father, the father is not left behind because the mother is carrying life in there. He has the responsibility of being able to, to, uh, to uh, uh, you know, protect that, uh, that circle you know, the life within and the circle of where, you know, the children and, the, and his wife is. So he is the protector. He is, uh, you know, the, uh, he builds a beautiful home, warmth and uh, sustenance, you know, food for the family and making sure that they are safe, they're protected. So that's what, that's, that's their response. That's his responsibility, bring the food to, to them. But the, the responsibility of the, of the mother is to make sure to educate that child in the best ways possible, in the best way as they can. And uh, so when you're, when, you come, when you're ready to come out, there's your father. Your father is not in the birthing, birthing era, birthing area. Uh, it's your only your mother, because she's the one that's given birth and you're coming out. And uh, it's uh, the midwives, the midwives, the doulas, the, you know, the grandmother, spiritual grandmother, the earth grandmother. So they, there's a whole teaching about that, okay? But the, and then the father is holding the, the fire, the fire, making sure they have food and everything else and, and, there's, uh, and there's warmth and there's, uh, you know, uh, a, uh, protection. So what happens in there is the father, uh, once the baby comes out, he sings the clan song. He will sing the clan song. My father sang the clan song to me as a, a you know, as a, as a, uh, uh, the Eagle clan, because he, he was of the Eagle clan. So he sang that song, and that's how I know who I am, what my role in life is. I have learned about my bundle from my mother's vessel. Now I come out and my father here blesses me and says with the, with the clan 
and said, my daughter or my son, this is your clan. This is your responsibility to, to be a good spiritual person. So, of course, you know, we, we walk, we walk about seven stages of life. Only, we, we're, we, on, we only go home into the spirit world when the Creator calls us home. So that's, that's, the, that's the teaching. And then, uh, you know, every, every seven years, there's a, there's a big, uh, there's a big uh, you know, change in our lives, okay? And one to seven, seven to 14, four, uh, 14, 14 to 21, 21 to 28, 28 to 35, 35 to 42, and 42 to 49, and uh, 49, and it goes on and on and on till the Creator calls you home, okay? And the, those seven stages of life are, are, are gauges of what we should be doing, of what our responsibilities in life are. Learn about them. In fact, you can Google them in the, you know, you can, it's easy now for you to get them, I don't, you know, but to get the spiritual connection, the spirit, you have to do the, you know, the ceremony with somebody, okay? So you all have that. We all have that. And what you, what you are doing, it's really important you as a lawyers to know that teaching of where that person is coming from, of what that person has endured, okay? What the core, what the core issue is with that person. Why is this person in here? Why? Because no one has, uh, no one has said anything about the core issue to, to him or her, okay? Or has taught or has... Uh, Maybe she was, maybe she was, uh, you know, uh, emotionally, you know, uh, abused and all that, you know, just, you know, all there's abuses that have, you know, begun, begin, you know, maybe she, she, he or she was abandoned, you know, so, but no one ever, nobody ever uh, listened to the court issue. So you as a lawyer should be able to see that, to see that, be able to gauge, know those seven stages of life of where everything is at, okay? Uh, and uh, and uh, there are songs for it, there are ceremonies for it, and there are people placed along the trail who can help with that, okay? The Creator said, I will never leave you alone. We are never alone, ever, 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 ever alone. The Creator and our helpers, we have a helper for life, and uh, those helpers, you know, help us. And if we need more life, you know, more help, uh, if I, you know, maybe uh, you, you want to be a medicine person, maybe you want to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, a, a, you know, a good uh, uh, fisherman. You know, a good hunter. Then they give you special, uh, special, uh, uh, you know, help. Special grandfathers, spiritual grandfathers. Okay, but you have to. But the main thing is, uh, you have to go and educate yourself. And you know how do you educate yourself? And this is where, uh, you know, how you educate yourself is by fasting. Fasting three, four days. One, two, three, four, five days or seven days in the, in the woods, and the spirits come there and teach you. That's how we get our education. I have fasted many, 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 uh, you know, close to, close to 35 times, so in the woods. So, you know, that's how I got my education. That's how I educated myself, you know. And uh, so, uh, uh, you either graduate or you don't, you know, so that's why you have to focus, and that's what you know, you as lawyers, you have to focus on that person and, and say, you know, what, what, you know, and whatever, whatever that connection is between you and them. Uh, never ask those personal questions. Let them tell you what they, what they need to know, okay? What you need to know. So uh, those are very personal questions. Otherwise, you'll just lose that person, okay? And uh, it's really important. It's really, really important. Uh, maybe that person is a, you know, is a very spiritual being, but this is his biggest test, okay? And then that's where you have to really, really, really look at that. You have to be so kind, show that kindness. Don't be impatient. Be patient and loving to that person, you know? And uh, otherwise, he'll just uh, And learn about the history of that person. Learn about their history. You know, there's so much... Uh, there's so much about missing and murdered women. Well, with me, there's missing and murdered women. Yes, you know, I support that whole thing, but I don't support the whole system, the, 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 the way it is, it is. When a person leaves, when a person is, uh, you know, uh, maybe committed suicide or, or has been uh, killed, you know, 
uh, we do a ceremony. We do a ceremony. That's where people like me and others, you know, we come in there and we do that ceremony and we make sure that person is not caught in the Bardo area, but go straight home into the spirit world. And if, and if they're caught in the Bardo area, it's your responsibility to, to release the spirit of that person. So this whole thing about missing and murdered women, well, that's another subject I don't even, I don't even, I don't even want to entertain that subject anyway, because I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I dealt with, I have a, I have a, I had a, you know, a, 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 da -da -da -da, a, yeah. a sister who was murdered and never, would never found the, the murderer, you know, and all that. But we did it in our own way, in our spirit way. So my sister is up in the spirit world. She's up there happy and all that, you know, and, uh, and so that's how it's done, okay? So there is a process and a protocol for everything, okay? So now, when you took when you when you look at the the uh, the, the missing uh, the missing no the uh, the seven stages of life, and we look at the the core issue of that person, there is there is there are ways that you can that you can help that person. Now, this teaching comes in uh, about the seven grandfathers. Okay, that's one of the seven grandfather teachings that you should know, and you know, uh, they say. You don't know the teaching until you've heard it seven times, and I truly, truly believe that. You know, truly believe that, because you have to. You know, there may be things that you know that happen during a during a teaching. So, in this time, in this time, the seven grandfathers. Okay, there are seven grandfathers, spiritual grandfathers. I would place the, you know, here on earth that we can uh, that we can have access to. Okay, if we need when we need them. So anyway. This, uh, this time, you know, in the second, in the second, there was the first, you know, the great flood, eh? there was a lot of destruction and everything. But the second people came in and they were, they lived for, you know, very, lived, you know, really peacefully for a long, long time. But then a long, uh, you know, uh, they were, uh, uh, you know, there was a lot of uh, destruction after, after so many years. Because what happened in there was because they're, you know, when they were the first peoples, they really didn't have that many teachings, you know, and so, uh, so they, uh, they didn't listen to each other. They didn't listen to the animals because the animals came here ahead of us about 20, 30 years way before us. And they taught us, they taught us what to do, what, you know, what is, what is there. They fed us and everything. They clothed us and, and all that, you know, and they spoke to us. You know, in the beginning, that's what they used to do. Used to be communication, you know, of words between the the, uh, the animals and the and the human beings. But that was that, you know, that was lost, way, 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 you know, later, a uh, long, long time ago. So what happened was, uh, the creator saw this, how destructive the people were, and he said, oh. Hmm. You know, I have to do something about this. There should be something done because the people, they were just not listening to each other, not listening to our way of life. No ceremonies, nothing, you know. So they were really, really in a, living in a very destructive life. So what happened was uh, uh, the creator said to the seven grandfathers, you know, choose a person, choose uh, you know, somebody, go look for somebody there on earth and uh, where, where they can, uh, where, uh, I, I, uh, you know, to be a spokesperson, to be an Oshkwa Bewis, to be a helper. So s six times they, you know, they, uh, they looked around this, you know, this Oshkwa Bewis and couldn't find anybody, couldn't find anybody. So, uh, so uh, the, 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 uh, Seventh time he came into a Mother Earth. What he what he saw was there was a gathering. There was a gathering of uh, of our people, and uh, in one of the uh, in one of the the you know the uh, the teepees by uh, the inside was uh, was a little a little baby that was born. Everybody was talking about this little this little baby that was born. So he went to see the little baby and looked at it. He said. Aha, that's the one I'm going to take. So in, in our way of life, tobacco is so important. He gave a package of tobacco to that. He took the little baby, and, but before he did, he, he prayed with the tobacco and spoke to the 
to the parents, to that tobacco, and said, I am taking their little one, don't worry. He's not, he hasn't been mauled by, you know, by wild animals or anything like that. So that's what, that's what he took that baby. And uh, he was so happy. So he went up to the, uh, he was so happy. He said, here I have somebody that will help, that will help us, help us, you know. And uh, so he brought that, that, uh, that baby into seven grandfathers. And some of the grandfathers were greet, had greeted him, and they had their best outfits on and all that. And, uh, and uh, they looked, you know, and they said, oh my God. They said, you know, it's a baby, they said. It's a little boy. It's a baby. That little baby will be so scared of us by looking at us. And we will, we, you know, we don't want to put fear in this little baby. And uh, so, you know, he's too young to be part of that, to be, to be the messenger. So what, what they instructed that Oshkwa was, was take him, take him into the, uh, into, into the four quarters of the, of, the, of the universe. Take him around and show him, you know, what life is all about. So that's what he did. The Oshkwa took the baby, showed him in the four quarters of it. And they said, whenever, when, when he's grown up, then bring it back when you're finished. And there's a teaching here for us in here. What happens is that, you know, it is our, responsi our responsibility as parents to teach our children, to help our children learn about life. And that is so, so true. You know, the best place they say is, uh, you know, go to, uh, go and have, uh, have dinner with your children. Be, a, you know, be with your children at least once a day, that's what we're told in our way of life. Be with your children. And I always had children, you know, uh, uh, you know I, my children, that's what I did with them. And uh, they ate with us, we ate together. And we had a spirit plate, we gave thanks. And then we would talk, we would know what was happening, and we would give teachings, you know, uh, about what was happening to, in the world. So that's, that's a big teaching for each and every one of you, the ones who are, the ones who have children, but the ones who are going to have children. So, excuse me, so what happens is that, you know, when you do that, you are feeding that spirit, that spiritual food, okay? And so, you know, so that's what happened. So. The little boy grew and, you know, grew up and, you know, had a great time, you know, looking at everything in, in, the, in the universe. Can you imagine going to the universe, you know, at that age, you know? And, and uh, so what happened was he grew up. He grew up, you know, when he was seven years old, seven years old, one, two, seven stages of life. When he was seven years old, the Oshkwa brought him back, you know dressed him up and all that and you know and prepared him for that great encounter with those seven grandfathers so they were so you know they looked at him they, they nodded okay he's ready he's ready he's ready now to to teach to uh, to come in and be taught and you know of what we're going the message that we're going to give him to bring back to his people so he, uh, the grandfathers had a vessel, you know, uh, and uh, the first grandfather dug into that vessel, brought out a substance and placed it on his head, you know, and said prayers and gave him, you know, that thought, the first thought, okay? And then, so, he went like that to second one to say the same thing. He brought that substance up into the, his head. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. Every one of them did that. So they did that ceremony for him in that gifting. And that was the, the beginning. They were told, he was told that he was being given the seven grandfathers. And every time they gifted him, you know, with something, they would tell him what that was for, 
with love, sagi to win, you know, love each other and all that. So it went on and on and on. So when that ceremony was over, they said, now, from the spirit world to the earth, it's a long ways. So what happened was uh, they said, now, the grandfathers told the Oshkwabeus, you got you to gotta, uh, look down on the earth again and go find out who, who you can get to bring, to bring this, you know, uh, the little one back to his people so we can give them these beautiful gifts. So what happened was uh, they, uh, he, uh, the Oshkwabeus went, looked around, couldn't find anybody. Looked around again, looked around again, you know. But then he came upon Nagig, you know, the otter. I asked him, ah, he says, there's the one. You know, he's very, very mischievous, you know, he's a you know, walker and, you know, very good helper. And, uh, and he loves to be, around, you know, he's a busy body. So, the uh, was asked him, he said, nope, nope, nope. He said, six times, he said, nope. So, so but then the second, the, the seventh time, he really, he really, really, you know, had a good talk with him. And so finally, uh, the otter said, okay, I will take him. I will bring him back into earth, into mother earth. And that's what he did. That's what he did. Now, he brought back all those gifts, and uh, and he was uh, and he had a all kind you know those gifts of you know all those you know he had a bag and so they traveled and traveled in the four quarters of the earth and traveled for a long 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 time and he grew to be an old man by the time they said. Oh, that's the earth. That's earth. And uh, so that's what they did. They found the earth. And, uh, but the otter went ahead and told the people, you know. But the people didn't listen. Some people did, though. And uh, the old man, the old man knew where he was. He was on earth. So he saw a teepee. And in that teepee sat old, old, old people, two old people that were so gray in hair. He also had gray hair. And he looked inside. He knew who it was. He knew that was his mom and dad that he had left behind. And they knew that they were going to come back. They knew by that package of tobacco that he was going, he was truly, was, it was truly him and that they knew that he was going to come back, that he was never, 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 nobody destroyed him. So they were happy and he gave them something, a gift to each and was so happy. And then when he came out, he, uh, you know, he came out to the, to the village and talked, the village gathered and said, hey, this man, this old man's come to our aid, you know, and he's gifting people, gifting gift, gifts to people. So that's what he did. He uh, had this bag, and, you know, it was so heavy though, you know, so, but the Oshka bears helped him, you know, they helped him and, uh, and he brought gifts to the community. And he sat in that council, in that council, in that circle, and help them understand about the seven grandfathers, the teachings of the seven grandfathers, how he was there, how he was taken from the earth and brought, you know, how he traveled to the universe and the four quarters of the earth, what he saw, all those beautiful stories, all those beautiful stories he told. And so every single one of them, and then he told them 
how he came back when he was seven years old and sat with the grandfathers and told him and how they fed him, how they welcomed him and gave him, gave him that, those, that gift each in the teaching. So that's what he did. He sat with the crowd, he sat with the council there, with his people, and lovingly gave those teachings to them. Now see, that's the, uh, that's the really, really, that's what we call that friendship partnership, wakutuin, you know? And that's what, that's where it, it's there. So that's why it's important for us to sit with councils and listen to each other, and you know, listen to each other with our, whatever it is that we know, okay? Well, you know, in a, you know, coming from our spirit and uh, to your beautiful hearts. So that's what he did. That's what he did. And then, and then uh, when he won the knowledge, when he won the knowledge of everything, when, he, when you're unsure of something, when you're unsure of what shall I do with my little boy, what shall I do with my little girl, what you do is you bring them out to Mother Earth and uh, they'll go fasting. That's, the educa that's our educational process. I always say this, that is our educational process. That's how you know yourself. We, you know, we've been educated in the dominant culture and all that. Yeah, I, I, I went to, uh, I, I, I went to, uh, you know, to university and figured out, well, what is the dominant culture? Is it the same? You know, the like same, you know, I was thinking. And, uh, and they are missing, missing that spirit. There was no such word as spirit when I went to school, when I went to university, nothing. I became the teacher, but I loved it. It was all right, as long as I got my degree. <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I, you know, uh, when we uh, want to educate our children, educate ourselves, go and sit with Mother Earth. Go and sit with her. It, but you have to go, you have to be with a, uh, an elder or a spiritual leader or a person who speaks their language, who knows the teachings of the people, otherwise, you know, you're, you're just wasting that person's, uh, you know, life. So that's the, that's how we, we are to this day, that's how those teachings are. And to this day, all our, all our helpers, all our spiritual grandmothers, all our spiritual grandfathers, we have them, we have them, but we have to know how to approach them, how to, how to do that, okay? So, and there's a, you know, like, uh, uh, Spirit, uh, spiritual grandfathers, or grandmothers for, uh, for winds, tornadoes, and all that. You know, how to stop them, how to address them. So that's how we learn, that's how we learn. There's a, there is, there is, there is an answer to everything. The, the creator didn't leave us just like that and say, go for it and just go, you know. No, we have those teachings. So I will say I will say miigwech to each and every one of you, for the little that I know, for the what you know, the teaching that I gave you, and you know, someday we'll meet again. Okay, miigwech. Uh huh. Okay. You don't have to clap. We don't clap. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we really don't clap in our way of life. We just say, you know, uh huh. Miigwech. Miigwech. Yep. Miigwech. Should we do anything with the water, Grandma? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, you know what? With the water, what you do is uh, you, uh, you look at it, and that's you. You're talking to yourself, okay? That's you. And you will see yourself in there. Sometimes the Creator will give you gifts. I've seen that. I've been in two ceremonies where uh, people receive some gifts in there, little shells, you know? But, and then when you speak to yourself, and uh, somebody, may, somebody may need help from within your family or friends, ask, ask, send that help for them, okay? Because it's the best medicine in the world, okay? So, and you drink it, ha ha. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> okay. So. so, thank you everyone for coming. Thank you, Grandma Pauline, so much. I didn't want to say too much um, right off the bat, but I did want to acknowledge the Law Foundation <laughs> um, for, for, for 
enabling us to invite Grandma Pauline here and uh, really giving us this opportunity to learn in a different way. Um, you know, we don't get to learn. We don't get to learn in different ways often in this institution. So we're really grateful for you for joining us and sharing that um, story. And I think it sets up the rest of the series, the teaching series, um, to learn more about each of the grandfather teachings and how we might incorporate the, that in the way we do governance within the law school, in the way that we think about practicing law, and the way that we think about um, even our interactions between each other um, within this institution um, so that we can work together in a better way. So thank you all for, so much for coming here and thanks to Grandma Pauline and uh, hope to see you again on the 21st when Dan and Mary Lou Smoke come.